I woke up this morning and decided I would like to be evil today. So I went on Instagram and asked you guys to send me your ex's phone numbers. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna cause them a little bit of panic. I really hope y'all enjoy this video. If you do, please leave a like and subscribe over there. I don't know. All right, let's begin. <laughs> So why did I do that? So why did I do that? So now we, we have Kyle. Apparently he says the N word and isn't black and he's into cars. I regret him so much. Um, I'm so sorry you had to deal with this person. We're gonna give him a little call. Hello? Hi there, is this Kyle? Yeah. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, my name is Bob from the Church of uh, Satanism. I just want to say thank you so much for um, volunteering as a sacrifice for this upcoming ritual. What did you just say? Um, I'm, I'm from the Church of Satanism, and we just want to say thank you for signing up to be a human sacrifice for our upcoming ritual. Um, we'll, we'll pick you up around, uh, uh around 9 p.m. tonight to begin. I hope you know, whoever this is, 54 White Street. Okay. Is my address. Pull up here. All right, thank you so much. We, we're, we're, we're really looking forward to it. I hope you're, I hope you're nice and tender. <laughs> Don't know who the f this is, but you're gonna get your stomped. Okay, well, we have a little, a little, a little baddie on our side. You might have heard of him. His name is Sam, and uh, he's gonna love meeting you. I would love for this to be Quentin, because it sounds like a queer. What is meant by that? What, 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 what do you mean by that? What do you mean? What do you Oh, that sounded like a slur, and from your description, looks like you're not black. So that's very interesting, that'll be noted. We'll, we'll throw in a little extra spice for the- From my corrections, it looks like you live in a trailer park down the road with your f***ing parents, and <laughs> you used to get that back. Oh, 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 Well, even if I did live in a trailer park, it would be fine because trailer parks and living in a trailer is very Im environmentally conscious. Conscious. Also, yeah, um, that description says he's not black, so that's, that's very interesting. Also, why did he give me his address? I really wish, I really wish I was in the church of Satanism and we were actually doing a ritual. <laughs> Okay, we have a number. Uh, this girl's name is Michaela. They said in the description she's very homophobic. Use that info however you want. <laughs> Let's get it. Hi there, is this Michaela? Yes. Hi, uh, this is Rob from Amazon Customer Support. I just wanted to quickly um, let you know that uh, unfortunately your order um, got declined. Uh, your payment method didn't go through of three pride flags and the box set of RuPaul's Drag Race. I think you got the wrong person, bud. I haven't ordered anything off Amazon. Oh, it, it, it says right here, uh, Michaela, on your profile that um, you, uh, you, you bought three pride flags, RuPaul's Drag Race. Dude, I'm homophobic. Um, I don't buy price flag. Uh, well, I think uh, you might have a little self reckoning uh, to do, a little self introspection. Um, uh, and also, it's a great I'm TV good. show. It's a great, fantastic yeah. TV show. <laughs> what? I was not. I was not. I was not. I was not. I was not expecting her to just be like. Yeah, I'm homophobic. <laughs> hey world, I'm homophobic. Like what? Um. Well, that was very interesting. Hello, William. I am not here. <laughs> Someone just gave me the phone number to Satan. <laughs> Hello, is this Joe Hub? Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Bob. I'm from Capital Investing. Um, I just want to give you a quick call today because uh, I came across your business, um, Not Just Jibs, and I really think you got something going there, and I'd love to invest in it. Mm. How long have you been running your business for? It's only been like a month. Okay. It, it looks like you put a lot of work into it. Uh, like, really, uh, really impressive things you got going here. Yeah. So, um, uh, I'd love to give you an offer. You can tell me if this is high or low. Um, um, I would love to have a 30% stake in your company, and in return, I give you, um, a $5, uh, Subway gift card. Um, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right, that's, that's great. I'll, I'll send it over, um, uh, just DM work. All right. All right, well, thank you so- Pleasure doing business with you, Joe Hob. Well, doing business with you. All right, goodbye. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, why did I just buy a company? Uh, how do, can you get Subway gift cards online? We're gonna do e-gift card. You can upload your own photos. Stop. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's get a move on. Give me my damn Subway gift card. All right, I'm sending him the gift card. The business transaction has been completed. <laughs> okay, I just had pleasure doing business with you and enjoy your Subway. <laughs> what does his profile picture say? Not just jibs. Fillers for their shoes with holes. Just in case you've never heard of a gibbet on Crocs. I know this started as a prank call, but guys, let's support a small business. And let's all buy some Minions gibbets, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, we have someone who said their ex tried to steal their dog. Tried to, tried to steal their dog. <laughs> what? Hi there, is this a good time? Hi, I'm just calling to, uh, my name is Bob from PETA. Uh, I'm just wondering, did you really try and steal a dog after breaking up with someone? What? What's your name? Did you really try and steal someone's dog, Aiden's dog, after breaking up? Yes, apparently. Why? What did you hear? What went through your head in the moment of stealing the dog? No, I saw the unicorn. No, 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 no. We're not playing funny games, little Macy. Who, why did you steal a dog? It wasn't a dog. It was a unicorn, mister. Listen. Linda, listen. listen. Linda? Linda. Do I sound like a Linda? Oh, no, you sound like Terry. Why did... Why did getting called a Karen make me that upset? Who steals a dog? All right, next up, we have some bozo named Shamir. Apparently, he cheated on some girl named Lily, so... We're about to... We're about to give him a little call. Hi there, is this Shamir? Yeah. Uh, can I call you, um, Shamir? Because congratulations, you've just won Sheeter of the Month. Are you excited? You've got an award coming. What's this award about? It's for being the cheater of the month. I heard you did Lily really dirty, and it was so spectacular that not only are you going to hell, but you also won cheater of the month. It's very exciting. Are you excited? Is this for like a school project, or are you guys just really bored? <laughs> <laughs> what school project? <laughs> All right, next up we have Carlos, who works at... Wally World. That's Walmart. I like to call it Wally World because it makes it seem exciting when I leave my house for the first time in a week. <laughs> Apparently, Carlos ghosted Vanessa. Not our girl, Vanessa. Ew. <laughs> I might have a few words with him. Or should I say, Walmart's HR department is going to have a few words with him. Hello there. Am I speaking with Carlos? Yeah. Hi there. This is uh, Ron DeSanto from, um, I work in a HR at Walmart. I'd just like to go over a few customer complaints we've received from you. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have a few customers saying that you, um, it appears you chase them around the store saying, um, they smell like badosi. Would you care to explain that? <laughs> um, this is not a laughing matter. Your job actually is quite on the line right now. Badosi. <laughs> you think that's funny? You think it's funny to harass? our valued customers at Walmart. Yeah. Now, I'd like to go over another one, and judging by your response, I think this might be um, grounds for termination. But we also had some complaints that you were peeing in the produce section, specifically filling up bananas, um, eating the inside of the banana, and then filling it with your urination. Is that is that uh, familiar? Yeah. And, and just why did you do that, Carlos? I wanted to see if it was possible to do it. Well, 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 was it possible? Yeah, I don't know. You tell me. You're eating some paint, but. Well, could you maybe one day come over and pee in a banana for me and we could uh, share a little, a little fruit together? Yeah, that's what you would produce me. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I lead with the Badusi? I could have had him actually scared. Well, Vanessa, I got your little Carlos. Oh, yeah, can I we know what you've done, Angelica. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, so back to Mr. Gibbets. Um, he said you're goaded, bro. So shout out my Gibbets company. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Also, if y'all want to do me a super big favor, go subscribe to my podcast channel. That is I Almost Died. It's linked in the description. New episodes go up every Wednesday. Also, my Instagram is Ben of the Week. Go follow me and I'll literally give you a smooch. I'm so sorry I couldn't post last week. I, I, I hated that. I really, I felt sick. But I'll see you guys next Sunday. Take care. Ben of the Week. It's ciao.